J Farrier. Just out here gonna shoe a couple of horses and thought I'd show you a little bit of what I have in my in my shoe supply. I get people asking how how many sizes of horseshoes there are and there are as many sizes as there are different sizes of horses. You got draft horses. That's uh, not the biggest. There are eights, nines, and tens. This is a six. So this is about an average size draft horse. And then you got these narrower shoes that are not as big and wide. And a lot of these are for half draft. That's a that's a size five. And you've got a a size three. And then you've got got twos. That's a two. These are uh, an eventer shoe. A little wider web, but has the rim on that on them. Then you get shoes that are here's a here's a number four. This is this is what they call a toe and heel. That has a a little bit of a caulk right there for traction, and that's kind of a mild a mild cork compared to to what what they used to have years ago. These are this is a an English shoe that came came out of England years ago, and a friend of mine had a few bags of these shoes. Are these the old calks that they used to have? And this is a forge weld forge welded toe calk, and then they turned the heels up for your heel calk. So that's an aggressive toe and heel that they don't use anymore. And a lot of the arguments against toe and heels were because of this shoe not because of this little bitty toe and heel like this. They were they were arguing against these big calks. So I show people that so they kind of know the difference. But anyway, then you can get you can get down to to as small as pony shoe. You've got you've got ot. I'm putting one out here. You've got an ot shoe. And then you've got Double lot and triple lot. Triple lot's about the smallest. These are pony shoes. Got some little tiny pony shoes up in there. And then these are aluminum shoes that I do for barrel horses. I put on the front of barrel horses, and those are aluminum. So I got a little of everything in here. I also got some uh, what they call natural balance shoes that I'll put on horses that, that need to break over in their in their step step to ease the tension on the ligaments with founder or navicular disease and so these are natural balance that, that are used for that. The kind of all around shoe that most people are are using nowadays is the Eventer. It's an Eventer shoe which has which has the rim, the rim on the front, and then it's flat on the back. They're a little wider shoe, so they wear good. And and the the theory on the rim is that that rim will fill full of dirt, and that dirt on dirt is better traction than steel on dirt. So you've got a little bit of traction, a little better wear, and it just depends on what they're doing. This is a hind shoe, but for a lot of the a lot of the rope horses or or the ones that are doing arena stuff I put I put flat shoes on the back so when they set up when they're roping they've got some slide and, and give to it but they don't need a full slider like a reining horse. So I'll usually put put flat shoes on the on the back and then the event or a rim shoe on the front. So that gives you a little idea and I carry all of these plus a bunch in boxes here in my truck so that when I pull up to a job I've got everything I need. So we'll see you down the trail.